Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, today we're looking at verses 24 through 26 in Psalm 102. Again, this is the second half of Psalm 102. And just kind of a little note going forward, um, Psalm 103 through 106, all of those Psalms, 3, 4, 5, and 6, are all going to be two-parters. They're longer and they're going to require us to take a little more time. So just heads up, uh, for the next 10 weeks or so, we're going to be looking at uh, those psalms in two halves. Okay, so today, beginning in verse 24, I said, O my God, take me not away in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. Of old thou hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old as like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. And that's verse that's through verse 26. Now he continues in 27 um, and, and comes to a conclusion there in 27. We'll talk about that a little bit uh, at the end today and then also again tomorrow. So I said, oh my God, take me out away in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. So again, we're still rem- we're remembering this is a psalm of the afflicted, and this is his prayer, right? Hear my prayer. Let my cry come unto thee. Hide not your face from me in the day when I'm in trouble. Incline thy near unto me. Well, he's in trouble. He's weakened. His strength is weakened in the way. He says, don't take me away in the midst of my days. Here's my days again. But then notice, as I've said, this is this verse, 24, is the uh, distillation of the contrast between the days of the psalmist and the years of the Lord. My days and thy years. Notice they're back to back there. Take me not away in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. Now he begins to expand on that thought in verse 25. And he says, of old, you laid the foundation of the earth. The heavens are the work of thy hands. So he goes all the way back to creation. Of old, who knows how old that is? The Lord knows. The psalmist doesn't. But he just says, of old, you've laid the foundation. So he says, your years are throughout all generations. And then he illustrates that. Of old, you laid the foundation of the earth. The heavens are the work of thy hands. And remember, I've said this time and time again. The psalmist is a confirmed creationist. There is no doubt about it. The revelation of God is clear. He made all things. And the psalmist here, comparing his days with the Lord's years, says, you're this old. You go all the way back to creation and before that. Verse 26, They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them and they shall be changed. So he goes all the way back to the creation in 25, and then he looks all the way forward to to the end when the, the earth waxes old like a garment, and the Lord has to change them. So even way out there, so from way back there to way out there, those are the years of the Lord as we count years. But he goes on even past that because he goes on, after he has changed all things, they shall be changed. Now, this comes over into the New Testament, and this is re- repeated uh, in Hebrews chapter 1, verses 10 through 12. So, there, the Hebrew evangelist is arguing that Jesus is the creator and he's not an angel, he's not a created spiritual being. No, but he happens to be the Son of God. And the Hebrew evangelist uses David's or the psalmist's words here to um, argue for that. And he says this happens to be about the Son creating all things. So, And then, of course, 27 fits in with that as well. You're the same, thy years shall have no end. And I'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow, and we'll go back and read from Hebrews chapter 13. So I hope you'll join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.